In this video segment, I will show you first how to set up a reliable bow grip. Then I will tell you about the function of each finger of your right hand. This picture shows you the points where the bow should have contact with your fingers. Put the bow on these points, place the tip of your thumb between the frog and the leather or winding. Then turn your hand around. Notice that all fingers, including the thumb, are round and relaxed. The middle finger is always opposite the thumb. The tip of the ring finger is on or near the eye of the frog and the little finger stands on top of the bow stick. The distance between your fingers should be the same as when you let your hand hang completely relaxed. Each finger has a very specific job. The thumb holds the bow up and provides the fulcrum or axis for all actions of your bow hand. The middle finger just closes the ring with the thumb. It has no other function than to secure the fulcrum. It never exerts pressure. Any pressure between the middle finger and the thumb would have no effect on your sound production. The index finger has two functions. First, it applies bow pressure onto the string. Any pressure by the index finger has to be countered in the same amount by the thumb. The second function of the index finger is to control sounding point. It can pull the bow towards the bridge. The ring finger also controls sounding point. It can pull the bow towards the fingerboard. The little finger can lift the bow pressure. In all these functions, the ring of thumb and middle finger is the fulcrum or axis. The accuracy of this bow grip is necessary to perform the strokes you will find in this website. Please come back to this chapter frequently to check your bow grip.